good evening welcome to the franchise midweek service it's an honor to have you here i hope you had you know a wonderful week my name is oji and i have with me the wonderful phenomenal kenneth hi ken hey, how are you OG? doing i'm good i'm good how are you feeling <laughs> I'm all right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So we're just going to kick off with the quick prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for today. Thank you for the privilege to come before you, to talk about you, to love upon you. Lord, we ask that you that you brood over us, superintend over this discussion. Lord, teach us, teach us. Let your words, let your word enter our hearts, enter our lives, and be made manifest in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 So, man, Sunday, yeah. it was explosive. <laughs> explosive, explosive. It was really, I mean, you know, when the Bible talks about a word in season, yes. that's that's exactly, it was so refreshing to yes. the soul because yes. like we're living in a time of anxiety. Yes. A time where people were uncertain. We don't even know what's going on. Dollar rate is through yeah. the roof. Yes. Should we even talk about like the hike in front? Like, it's like we're just under pressure from yes. any and everywhere. Mm. So, you know, and then people, are trying to double up the hustle. <laughs> hustle yeah. Yes, you know, double up just to meet up, yeah. you know, basic needs. People are trying to leave the country. People are, they don't trust that the country is good for them anymore, you yeah. know. So it was just a refreshing time being reminded by God that He's our source, you know. Yeah. Like the theme of the service was our daily bread. Yes. Yeah, you know, being reminded that. God is our source. Mm. God is, uh, we, he is sufficient. Thank you, Jesus. He is everything that we need, yes. you know. So like for me, it, you know, these are things that you, you can say you already know it. Mm -hmm. But like when you, when you attend the service, like the one on Sunday, you yes. realize that, are you really trusting God? Mm. You know, are you really, are you really saying you say that god is your provider but do you really see him that way mm. you know is he really is he really um giving you the one you trust to give you the things that you need or mm. do you think it is the job that god gave you True. you know because most times you just believe ah, like now it's end of the month you know? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of us I'm waiting, I'm ah. waiting for salary, like just waiting for it to enter because we believe that this is what, I mean, so for some people, this is all like they, they wait for in the whole month. We're mm. just waiting for the end of the month, you know, True. for us to get paid. True. So, but that service was particularly refreshing because it just reminds you that it's not it's not your job or shabby hmm. jobs are downsizing yeah. everywhere yes. it really isn't it really is and if if you notice for so for some people like i was, I was talking with a friend the other day and it's just, we're just thinking about it that how much really are you earning hmm. you know and you know the things that are going on in society hmm. be honest with yourself how many salary do you have that you're <laughs> living the kind of life like you're living do you, do you, do you see true. my point that's very true yes so i mean it's just it's just really it was oh no 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 that service was really mind-blowing i don't know if you have like, yes i mean to what you like, said mm -hmm. i um i was it last year or two years ago i was i think i was in a i was a, a, a bit of a financial crisis personal mm -hmm. financial crisis and i was thinking about how i really was making it through the week mm -hmm. because even at the time if I tell you how much I was earning in a week, it was ridiculous. It, I'm telling you, it's just you silly. It. I'm telling you, I don't think, I don't think that can even, ah. that can last me one day right now. Mm -hmm. I don't even think it can last me an hour, and that's yeah, what that usually week, what I would get, get, getting every week. But was. I was, mm -hmm. I was even getting fatter. Do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> Probably added more weight in that time. Do you understand? Because at the end of the day, God uses these t those times to mm -hmm. prove to us that um it's not a lot of it's not in a lot of the things that we possess mm -hmm. you know physically 
for it's in it's in the supply in eternity yeah and there, there, there are many ways through which the lord supplies to us mm-hmm. there are many ways to, mm-hmm. through which the lord supplies to us and however we however it supplies mm. the major thing is for us to get to where we're going to exactly and that's what matters exactly. as long as i can get i can i was i was coming here however i got here i got here whether i came Abby? in an uber well, I came in a car. Of course, the experience is different. Yeah. Or <laughs> you get, yeah. you know, coming in your own car. But you know, the beauty of it is that you, you know, let's take let's take for example, we're coming. I was coming in my own car, but I entered and I got in a bit of a traffic, right? Mm-hmm. So I remember something that happened like a few, few. I think it was two years ago, too. Okay. There about. So, um, an artist came into the country, um, and I was asked to play for that artist okay. so I asked to play the keyboard for the artist um, so I was in a at the time I was serving in a at the time um, so I, I was coming from a Belkata there was a heavy traffic you know coming from a Belkata down to Lagos the artist was already in Lagos mm. um, was already at the venue and I was just coming into Lagos so he calls me and says ah, where are you mm-hmm. and I'm like oh, sorry I'm just getting to Lagos and the artist just laughed he laughed because it just felt oh, this is yeah, a done deal. Yeah. So at that point, I got, I managed my way, got down from 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 the cab, and th- that time bikes were still active in Lagos. Mm. So I, I I got a bike and I was like, bro, I'm going to this place, this place, this place. Can you drive fast? Can you ride fast? And it was like, ah, don't worry. <laughs> and we got, I got ah. on the bike. Don't and <laughs> this guy, the way the guy was, it was crazy because at that, at that time, you know, there was a lot of traffic on the island mm-hmm. and all of that. We just, we're just going in between cars. I was like, well, this guy is really a bad guy. And I got there, I think in 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, wow. And when I got there, I got there and I paired, you know, the artist looked at me and said, how did you do it? Because at the time, I was probably not driving. Jiga, Jiga oh. my gist. Yeah. So I'm just saying that if I was driving, I would probably be locked in that traffic right. and I would not be able to you make it there. You can't leave your vehicle yes. now. I'm not mm-hmm. taking that literally. I'm just saying that a lot yeah. of times that's the situation with our mm-hmm. lives, right? Knowing that God knows where you need to get to. Yeah. And sometimes what we call ease is actually a delay mm. in itself. And it, hmm. it it doesn't it doesn't propel us as yeah. much as the difficulty as we call it. Yes. But that difficulty in itself is propelling us more into the will and the purposes of God and mm-hmm. pushing us further. Mm-hmm. Who would have thought that a Joseph at that time, who had a dream, a great dream, mm-hmm. a huge dream, mm-hmm. and felt like, oh, everybody's gonna bow at me. And if mm-hmm. the journey to that dream would be First down to the pit, mm-hmm. down to yes. Potiphar's house, then to prison and finally lead to the palace. Who would yeah. have thought that that would be the way? Yeah. And sometimes that's just what it is. So mm-hmm. it means that we must trust that God knows what we need per time. And yeah. whatever we need is what's going to lead us to the will of God. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, according to the, the text, you know, which pastor preached from on Sunday, Matthew 6, 11, mm-hmm. if you read um, the preceding verses, you'd see that Jesus was speaking to them and he says, don't pray like the Gentiles. They have unnecessary repetitions and all of that. But it's also telling, it was also trying to speak to them to understand that God already knows what you need before you ask. Right. So you don't need to harass God, uh-huh. you know, for a better exp- for right. lack of a better ex- expression. Uh-huh. You don't need to harass God. He actually knows what you need. Uh-huh. The challenge is you don't trust that what he says you need is what you actually yes. need. Yes. And yes. God sees the bigger picture as bigger than us. His ways are bigger. His, eye, his, his, his thoughts are bigger. His, they are greater. So a lot of times we, the challenge is we do not trust that God knows what we need. Yeah. What we believe is that we know what we need and we need him to do what we need. Mm. And so, I mean, yes. Sunday was a blessing. It Sunday was, was a blessing. it was, it was absolutely, you know, and this thing you just said now yeah. about him. Um, us thinking that we know best. We know <laughs> we know what I've got. <laughs> it just reminds me because like when Pastor was talking on on um Sunday, yes. he was he was talking about like give us this day our daily bread. Yes. And it's so easy to think that 
it, it, it's just ah, God today, please Lord, my two K for today. Just give just me, give me my you care. know, <laughs> just give me. And it reminded me of Oliver Twist when you just come. Everybody will line up. Yeah. Will now come and meet God. Okay, give me today's own. Today, what I need is 5K to go to this place. And, yeah. But like, it's much more than that, no? Mm. It's so, it's so like when you were telling your story, would you have thought like leaving Abel Kuta that day, would mm. you have thought that you'd have needed to get on the bike? Yeah. You probably would not have None thought that. that. But just the things that God who already knows the end. Mm -hmm. He has already planned that, oh, you know what? This, this 2K that you need now, no, it's not now that you need it. You mm -hmm. need to get here first, you know? Like, God gives us what we need. He sees the entirety mm -hmm. of it all, and then he gives us. But, and I noticed that most times, we, we really even just ask based on what we think we want. Mm -hmm. We really sometimes don't even know what we need. And I yeah. remember, I love the way pastor started on Sunday mm. with, with just that give us. Mm. He said, everything we have really is from God. True. You wake up in the morning. Yes. He, I remember so clearly, he said, you just woke up. So <laughs> you, don't, you know how it is now. You went to bed last night, you lay down, you slept. Yeah. In the morning, your eyes just opened. So somehow, and it's true, like we're human beings. Sometimes we... Let's be honest, sometimes we don't attribute it to God waking us up. You don't we even just, remember. Do you get, like, you just woke up <laughs> and, oh, another day. <laughs> sometimes we even complain that we have to go to the office. <laughs> like, those are all of the issues, you know. But that is, those are gifts from God. You woke up. Yes. You put your leg down. Yes. It moved. Yes. You know, you were able to walk. You mm. were able to use the restroom. Yes. Those are all gifts from God. And that's the thing. A lot of times we just, like these things are too normal for us. Yes. I know that if I want to, you know, stand up from here now, I will just stand up and walk out the mm -hmm. door. But those are all gifts from God that we need to, you know, like we need to be more conscious of, mm -hmm. you know, as, as part of the things that God has given us. We need to stop seeing God as a bank that we need to go to every day. Today, what I, I, I want is this, 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 yes. this, and then we walk away. Yes. Tomorrow, you come for another today's daily toolkit. Mm. No, you know, God is so much bigger than that. He's so much. He, and, and Pastor said, he mentioned on Sunday that God is responsible to us on two levels. Yes as our creator yes and then secondly for those who believe in jesus yes. you know we have a covenant with yes. him and he's responsible to us so yes. like we need to not see god as somebody who is as a i, I want to say guardian mm -hmm. but not the guard sometimes we don't see him as the guardian who loves us we just see him as as the one who can do the things that we want, yeah, true. you know. And since the Bible says we should pray, give us this day our daily bread. Oh, yeah, God, this is what I want to <laughs> do. Bread, give yeah. it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> you know. And then that's even that's even. Oh God, no, no, no. Sunday was really, really amazing. You know that the Bible says that Jesus is our daily bread. Yeah. So even they give us this day our daily bread. Yes. It's saying give us this day the measure of Jesus that we will. Oh, that's, you that's, know, that's beautiful. Like it's not. It's, we need to stop seeing things solely from a material perspective. We need to yes. stop seeing the prayer solely from a material perspective. And it was so amazing mm. when Pastor was saying it that you need to the 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 um the fellowship that you need for today god appear to me today like uh, what i need for today you know mm. meet me meet me today you mm. know the bible says that as our days are so shall our strength, strength be. be and you, what Jesus. is our strength the strength we have is in christ it is the measure of god in us yeah. you know so for every day we need a measure of christ you know we need to yes today's prayer is not you can't say i prayed yesterday yes so i won't pray today yes okay if you want to say that why can't you say i asked god for 2k yesterday i won't ask him for 2k today <laughs> no those are the issues now That's true. those are the issues That's you true. you think that i mean you think that uh, when you want god should just be there anytime mm. it's convenient for yes. you 
but we don't think about oh this is this is somebody that you know wants to have fellowship with us mm. and so i mean that line that that line is really really power packed it's saying mm. give us this day our daily bread the measure of you that i can get today give it to me, give lord. It to me lord you know the time that we have to spend in prayer let's spend it praying that's the, the time that we have to study so that's the, i mean it's it's very nice to know that that scripture is not just about you know, thinking about Abraham's, yeah. Abraham's story, yes. Mm -hmm. So we have Abraham who mm -hmm. waited for the promise. Right. Well, at the time, yeah. what he knew as the promise, mm -hmm. Isaac. Isaac finally comes. Then one morning, God appears to Abraham or speaks to Abraham. <laughs> <laughs> and there says, oh God, this guy that I gave you, yeah. this boy that I gave you, please bring him back to me. He makes a mad joke. <laughs> Are you kidding or something? <laughs> but Abraham woke up yeah. the next morning, you know, and took a few servants and headed to a place uh, to sacrifice. That's... So Isaac, right? Now, if if you notice, Abraham's journey to to that mount to sacrifice, mm -hmm. leaving the house, Abraham prepared in his heart to sacrifice Isaac. Right. He left that day. Mm -hmm. headed to that mount mm -hmm. took them a few days but when they got to that when they finally got to a place and he of course told the um, servants it says oh do you guys wait here mm -hmm. i and the lad will go yonder and worship right that's actually the first place worship is mentioned in the scripture mm -hmm. and abraham goes to that place to sacrifice abraham has all the things to sacrifice and of course isaac has to say oh, i see wood i see <laughs> I see every other thing that we need. Where is the sacrifice? <laughs> All right. But not I'm not even going there. What really catches my attention is that the same God that told Abraham to sacrifice Isaac is the same God mm -hmm. that speaks to Abraham yeah. and tells him not to kill Isaac. Yeah. So that's why the Bible says that man shall not live by bread alone. Mm -hmm but by every word yeah. that proceeds from the mouth mm -hmm. of God. Meaning that if you depend only on what God said yesterday, you can be missing out on what God is doing today. Mm -hmm. And that's very important mm -hmm. that God's, God is a daily God. Yeah. Yes, and yeah. that's important for God because that's how our faith, that's why the Bible says it's impossible to please God without faith. Yeah. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. Because the pleasing of God is in that is in that submission. And that submission is in every single day. Lord, what do you have for today? Mm -hmm. What do you have for this moment? Mm -hmm. What do you have for this time? Yes. What do you have for this season? Mm -hmm. To know that the end of all things is Jesus Christ himself, mm. the sacrifice, the lamb that was already made available by God himself. So if you check there, in, you know, in Abraham's response to Isaac, it says the Lord will provide a lamb for himself. Yeah. But we know the lamb that was slain before the foundations ah. of the earth, Jesus Christ. Yes. Praise the Lord. So we, we, oh. we, 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 we know that at the end of the day, the sacrifice or whatever it is that God has to give, God does not have more to give than Jesus. Hmm. God does not have more to give than Jesus. And the Bible says, if he did not withhold Jesus, yeah. if he did not withhold him, but gave him freely to us. He said, would he not with him give us all things? So it means that if we have Jesus, we have all things. Oh, so yeah. I have all things. Mm -hmm. But why do I have all things? I have Jesus. Yeah. But it also means that the expression of Jesus that I need for today might not be the, might not be the revelation of Jesus I need for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. For Moses, mm -hmm. it, it, the revelation was, you know, the the, the 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 power of God to part the Red Sea. For Joshua, it was the power of God to to part Jordan. For for any other person, for David, it was it was the power of God to help him to to kill Goliath, to kill the yeah. lions and the bears. Yes. So the expressions of God are different, and yes. no man did God use the same way like he used the every mm -hmm. other man. Every man had his own peculiar walk mm -hmm. with God. And that's because God himself has a part of Jesus is sharing with each and every one yes. of us in expression. Mm -hmm. So what are we saying? We're saying that God is intentional. Mm -hmm. We're saying that God is, has all things and has given us all things, but is not 
giving us all things to waste and to squander on our lust mm. rather he's giving us all things for his purpose yes. for that was created all things yeah <laughs> you understand yeah. for thy pleasure they were yeah and I are created, created. Mm-hmm. so we see that god's pleasure is is paramount and so as a child of god what we should chase after is the pleasure of god mm-hmm. but it also comes in our, our submission to the will and plan of god to know that what we need for today is what god has given us today yes and if we stay in his yes. presence right what we just say lord i just want you to be pleased if me staying on the mainland is what pleases you then so be it <laughs> if me staying on the island is what pleases you Let then so be. be it if mm-hmm. me staying in canada is what pleases you okay. then so be it if me staying in nigeria is what pleases you yes, then so is. be it. that's mm-hmm. my daily bread i mm-hmm. receive it with thanksgiving because mm-hmm. i know you, ha- you know better yes you have the bigger picture right and whatever i whatever i ask mm-hmm. whatever i ask for i must ask in the light of your will and that's why it's important that when we pray we don't just pray to just make God, mm. you know, make a powerful God to do something we believe is what we need right, right. now. Right. You know, like I said in Matthew six verse seven, I believe is speaking to the to seven or eight now. Mm-hmm. It's speaking to the fact that God, before you asked, already knows what you need. Yes. So actually, what we are doing is inquiring of God. What do we need for today? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So what yes. do we need for today? So we are saying, Lord. You know the day before mm-hmm. you yes you, you, you know who i'm alpha going, you, know, you know who i'm going to meet you know the boss man that always hits me you know the neighbors yeah i don't say we're involved you know these things now you know the mm-hmm. madness no last week you know we had terrible ter- well i didn't have a terrible day but it's just a very very interesting day yeah mm-hmm. All these uh, VIO um, policemen oh, all, i mean we just we're just God. encountering them yes and god knows before mm. i left the house i didn't know i was going to encounter those people mm-hmm. there was a strength that was needed in that place do you understand there was right. a, there's wisdom that is needed in that place mm-hmm. there's some sort of yes um compassion there was a bit of compassion i think the lord is pointing my attention to something here now so mm-hmm. um there's a bit of compassion that i needed in that place there's mm-hmm. a bit of patience that i needed in that place and if i stay Not in the place beat. yeah <laughs> You know, if I stay in the place of prayer, <laughs> yeah. what will be impacted in me in that day is what I need. Because God already knows what mm-hmm. is ahead of me. Mm-hmm. Not just, oh Lord, I have to pay these children's school fees, or I have to do this, I have to do that. God is saying, oh, there's something that is coming your way that should not be paid. There's a temptation that is actually coming. Yes. Do you understand? So, I, I, I believe that give us this day our daily bread is, is the revelation of God, who yeah. is a daily God. True. And it's a prayer for every day because mm-hmm. it says, give us this, this day. day, you know, give yes. us this day. Yes. So it's a prayer we wake up every day and say, Lord, the supply you for will. today, mm-hmm. you know, let it meet the need for today. Just remembered one day, I don't like to do horrid devotions, but that day I just had to, in fact, I didn't do like my study before leaving, mm-hmm. you know, I just did my prayer. and. You know, the Holy Spirit knows. He'll be telling you, wait first, just calm down. Just calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Do this thing. Well, you need this. And mm. you, you're just on the go saying, okay, God, thank you. For this, this, this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my days. Do you know that that day, I think it was my rider. I almost, I mean, and for somebody like me who, <laughs> it's not pride, but I, I, I don't, I have to be really infuriated for me to like just have it's an outburst. Burst, yes. But that day, oh my what? no, no, no. Oh my god. It was terrible. And then it was such a bad it almost ruined my whole day because like I really ah uh, no, we are we almost fought. Wow. Do you know? And then in so like later in the evening and I'm like, okay, let me finally now open my Bible. And like my study for that day was something that could have avoided wow. the whole mess wow. of the day. It's so true. Like everything that I think wow. I that day I was supposed to read a book of Proverbs, you know, mm-hmm. that was teaching about like, that, yeah, was going to teach me about how to handle, how to control myself, like, you know, like anger yeah. and how sometimes it will not be you that will be the fool. <laughs> but, <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. So, 
those are all the like those are the issues. Wow. that day i'm like no i messed up i messed up yeah. so like these are all the issues sometimes god is like an afterthought to us we don't think of <laughs> it in this way that we need this we need a measure of him for today mm. we feel like oh it's just what we we need him to provide the things that we need but as christians like it's more than just we're building ourselves mm. we're building building um your character like it's the whole of your life mm. that matters mm. you know so you can't just neglect one the most important part even and just you know depend on god for just providing so like i mean that taught me no 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 that's, i that's, felt like that's, a fool that's, that deal that's very hey, go i on. mean that's pointing my attention to quite a number of things as you're speaking you know, mm-hmm. my mind is going to quite a number of events that have happened over the, over the last weeks you know and how my fellowship with god probably would have averted some of these yes things or empowered me mm-hmm. you know in those things mm-hmm. um there are times where you know i'm leaving the house and i know that i'm not equipped for the day right in the sense that you know i just you know you know you know Mm -hmm. you know there's a you know there's just a there's a gap in your spirit to yeah the weight of things you understand like ah. but you know you're just sometimes i wake up and i'm under the pressure of you know a lot of the demands a lot of the stuff that i have to do today you know, I have to, okay, I have to do this and I have to mm-hmm. do this. But the problem is at my appraisal, mm. my appraisal of things, forgetting that Jesus is actually what I need. Mm-hmm. And I think that if we speak more to these things in church, right. if we speak more to these things you know, as, as believers mm-hmm. in our conversations, to know that Jesus is actually what we we need mm-hmm. and when they say jesus is the answer to all questions it's not just something we say mm-hmm. it's actually the answer to all questions jesus is the answer to that challenge jesus is the answer to that the problem yeah. is you don't know how to appropriate jesus the revelation of jesus mm-hmm. you know to that thing yes and address that thing address that sickness yeah. address poverty mm-hmm. address anger address uh, pornography address mm-hmm. all these other things yes. so it's th- but this is why we go daily to god mm-hmm. this is why we go daily to god because we must understand that god in himself is is the bible calls it manifold mm-hmm. because they're many folds yes. right yeah and so to the many challenges that we might be facing one day after the other mm-hmm. there is a jesus as an answer to those yes, things there is every, jesus yeah. to, to to address those situations mm-hmm. and i think that's 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 very important that um there's something else that i really wanted us to speak about um and i think it's just knowing that though we have received all things you know in you know in god the bible says all things that pertains to life and godliness we've mm-hmm. received we uh, there's also there's also like the um the release of it mm, of those things yes. in time to yes. say that sometimes you you know that you have some things but god does not allow you. you to walk in those things yes. yet until the right time mm-hmm. and um I, I just want us to 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 speak to the reality of many people especially who have giftings callings abilities who are uh, well equipped who we'll believe they're well equipped mm-hmm. but they don't they've not given they are not given the opportunity yet because mm-hmm. probably god is not permitting them to go into that place yet you know you know what do we say to people like that who believe that oh i mean i can do this thing why can't i just imagine david you know when he was killing the lion yeah. he killed the first lion i was like ah come on I now I, co- I killed a lion man i can Baby. i can't take down anything <laughs> but there was a goliath yeah like, which was an appointed time which was the fullness of time for him to come into you know into um the, the dimension of god you know that that warrior in him mm-hmm. and of course to expose him most importantly because he has actually been walking mm-hmm. in that power but to expose him to the world in that time yes so it means that killing goliath like pastor said was not as big of a deal mm-hmm. as killing lions and bears mm-hmm. because at that time it was only he himself there mm-hmm. was nobody to save him and if he could do that at that time it means that 
Goliath was not much of a big deal. But what do we say to people who are killing lions and bears in this day? But you know, at the, you know, they don't have their Goliaths yet. Yes. They don't have their big breaks yet, and they just feel like this is daily bread, this is daily bread, this is daily bread, right? Mm -hmm. When would this daily bread turn to you know day bakery? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I where you know we're able to say, okay, we started from the bottom yeah. now we're here, you know, and say, okay, from, from grass to man, grass, you know. But we see, you yeah. know, even even with the children of Israel, manna fell from heaven, mm -hmm. and, but it was for each day. Yes, it was for each day. Yes, it was for each day. So how do we? How what 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 do we say to people like that who are going through, you know, going through that? I mean, for me, I think essentially, I mean, because to be honest, mm -hmm. well, let's be honest, it can get tiring. Mm -hmm. It can get tiring, you know. But for me, I think essentially, it is trusting God, you know, and going daily, mm -hmm. going daily, you know understand pastor used to say something he used to say i'm just like going to put it in my own words because yes. i don't remember exactly how he said it but he used yeah. to say that um that is rather it's better that you're sulking mm -hmm. and forming god i'm not happy with you than for you to go and embarrass god on mm. a big stage for mm. instance now you say you're ready you're ready you're mm. ready they now bring you know like a big stage and then Everybody will now be saying that ah, ah, this one I thought I thought, I thought, you... <laughs> I thought he was I thought he no. was a you know <laughs> so I mean but essentially it's just trusting God's timing you know yeah. trusting that God like you said we're supposed to be asking God what what do we need mm. you know I'm not saying this is what I need mm. yes tell God what you want tell God how you want it to be tell God that oh yes I wish this 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 but it is important you know for the Bible says that long suffering is good <laughs> he said that he is said, it? endure us now <laughs> okay he didn't say it's good but like <laughs> Okay, yes, let me. Spirit, yes, so, yes, now. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so, uh, the Holy it, Spirit is working in you. Good, huh? Oh yes, <laughs> it's good. good. And we need to understand. Bible says that hope make it not ashamed. Yes. God, God can never ever shame us. Your yes. break will come. Sometimes even what if the break you are asking for is the one that will now lead you to yeah. hellfire? Is it not better that you're getting your hundred k every day? Now, for it to be getting 10 million and at the end, there's yes. nothing, you know, everybody is yes. just like, I can't believe this one was a a child of God. True. Yeah, so those are the things. Sometimes we feel like yesterday, somebody, um, we, I was having a conversation with somebody, you know, around the thing about the lady that returned 70K dollars. Oh, really? Yeah, there's a lady and then so, um, some artists gave, rewarded her like 10K dollars. So the guy was now saying that, that if I'm the one that can I, can I return $70,000, you know? And I, I tried to say, uh, I think so. But yeah. the truth is, you don't really know until you're in those situations. In that, in that situation. But God knows. Hmm. He knows what you can handle. He knows whether or not you yeah, can do this. That's, that's good. You know? That's good. Yes. He knows whether, he knows the one that he can use and test mm. you with he knows the one that no please don't even wow. imagine that the test that they gave you wow. they gave it to another person so wow. even before your wife is saying cause god you don't already you cause don't cause him. Him. <laughs> <laughs> you know so like god knows those things he knows where you i mean what you can handle mm. so like it, it all boils down to knowing, trusting God. And this, let me just talk, you talked about Abraham yes. and his son. Do you know how comfortable Abraham had got? Do you know how old Isaac was at the time? Mm. I mean, maybe not old, but he could work, he could talk, he understood, let's go and, and sacrifice and, and make yes. and worship God. He yes. like, he understood those things. He, for him to even ask, where is the lamb? He knew that something knew that was, this, this, this is somebody is that, <laughs> yes, he's somebody that has grown. So. This is, imagine me, I've been a mother, or in his case, Abraham had been a father for mm. so long. And then all of a sudden, I'm sure in his mind, he's like, yes, this is the son. I don't even know other one is coming. I'm fine, God. And then all of a sudden, you're saying, go and sacrifice him. Mm. Do you know? So that's the thing. Sometimes we're very used to a blessing that if, if 
God is telling you to give it up. You you say that that's the devil telling mm. you to do it. Mm. Do you understand? So sometimes that, that's why it's good to, like you said, it's a daily thing. The Bible says that as we behold, we become. Mm. So every day as you're seeking the face of God, you you know, okay, mm. this is what God is, is. This is what God will have me do. And the truth is, it sort of gets easier when we keep letting God John said, I will become less so that you become more. Yeah. You just, you know, you see that the selfish desires that we have, the, 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 um, what's it, the, you want to be in the spotlight so bad. Yeah. You want your big break so bad. But by the time you keep communion, you keep becoming one with the Father. And then all of those things just become, you know, less and less. And you, that's it. Like, it's important. While we all pray for our big breaks, you, yeah. because we need it, but like, it's imperative to trust that God is the source, you know, and that everything, everything that we need yes. is Him. He's sufficient. Yes. And He, like, we find our own sufficiency inside In him. of Him. Yes. It's not the, it's not the, it's not the, like I was saying, is why do you want to try and have seven jobs mm. in a bit to make money? Then by the time you're 30, you already have the bones of an 80 year old. You can't enjoy life anymore. Mm. You know, that's, those are all the things you, you, we have to ask ourselves. Am I really trusting God in this thing that I really want? Is mm. it to bring, you know, glory to God? Or is it just in a bid to have some sort of self gratification Gratification. yeah you know so but like you said i i I, it's not easy but we just have to keep trusting god you know work hard do what god has called you to do be where god has called you to be you know and just trust that one day the bible says that that kings will come to the brightness Brightness of our rising rising. it also says that our our gifts who we'll stand before king, king before men, not not mean a mean man, man. yeah yes. so those are all the things that we need to understand that yes. if god is saving you for a time it's mm. not his word is not going to fall to the ground mm. there's maybe just a certain level of preparation preparedness that you need sometimes it's not even the gifts that you need to work on mm. it's maybe your character mm. so if god takes you there now you go and insult your helper <laughs> your back to square one. You know, like those okay. are those are you all. Of, yeah, those are, are those are all of the that's issues. Those are some of the things that we don't think um, we don't think about. Yeah. We don't like take cognizance of because we feel like, but well, this thing I, I've been doing this, you don't think. Don't I, you know, you know, you know something yeah. something happened to me. I think it was just God exposing to me. I had just a bit of you know like an exposure, right? Right. And I saw how I managed some of that. You know some of the resources i got from there it wasn't so much it wasn't so much mm-hmm. it wasn't so big at the you know, but at the time for my age and of right. course it was it was, was a lot for me but i saw how i was i managed it and then it don't it dawned on me that i wasn't actually ready for what i said thought you i was see. ready for right so you know i think at the end of the day is to know that god knows you better than you know mm-hmm. yourself and i think that's really the heart of the matter the mm-hmm. where a lot of people don't trust god's perspective right don't trust what god says yeah what the word says and Mm -hmm. one of the things that the word is and it's very very important thing for me is that it's a really revealer of intents Mm. do you understand Mm -hmm. that the bible talks about the 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 word of god being a two-edged sword double-edged sword yeah and pierced through the soul and spirit Mm -hmm. you know the bone the marrows but it also reveals the truth the intent of our hearts and so it means that god himself helps us to reveal our hearts to us mm-hmm. it says the heart of man is desperately wicked who can who can find it mm-hmm. so the problem is that you trust yourself too much yeah. you trust you trust your own timing mm-hmm. too much you trust you know what you believe you need but god knows better and if god says this is what you need for this time you better submit to it mm-hmm. because that's what will lead to the to life you know jesus is speaking in john 6 i think we should read that okay. you know john 6 chapter 3 uh, john 6 verse 30 um nlt um says they answered show us a miracle or sign mm-hmm. if you want us to believe in you what can you do after all our ancestors ate manna while they journeyed through the wilderness yeah the scripture says moses gave them bread from heaven to eat 
Jesus said, I tell you the truth. Moses didn't give you bread from heaven. My father did. Yeah. And now he offers you. Right. So this actually exposes one thing. So see what Jesus says here. It says, I tell you the truth. Moses didn't give you bread from heaven. Mm -hmm. My father did. So it means that God is source. Yes. Yes. God is ultimate source. Yes. And whoever he uses is just a channel. Mm -hmm. So we can't attribute the things that God gave us to men. Yes. We honor men. We honor men because God used men. But we do not replace God yes. with, with, yes. with men yeah. because because they are the ones we see and we receive directly from. Mm -hmm. Our channel might be men, but our source remains yes, God, God himself. Yes. My father did. And now he offers you the true bread from oh, heaven. heaven. Yeah. The true bread of heaven, the true bread of God is the one who comes down from heaven and gives, gives life, life to the world. To the world. And so we see that the, 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 the revelation of Jesus is actually what we need. Mm -hmm. And that's the true bread. Mm -hmm. And everyone who ate of the manna died one time or the other. Mm -hmm. um, but the true bread is Jesus. Yes. And I think that's that's really what we should we should go home with today. Mm -hmm. Knowing that it doesn't matter um, what you think you need. As long as you have Jesus, you have all things. Yes. But you must also, you know, stir up the spirit within you yes. to embrace the truth. Embrace you know that the word the counsel of the holy spirit the counsel of the word and to trust that god is working something good in our mm -hmm. lives so i think that's you know i think that's um, in a nutshell what we can what we can take today yeah. and it's been a blessing been been a true blessing honestly who yeah. would have thought that like just one verse of the bible would be so yeah. i mean and this is we do you know why we started learning the Lord's <laughs> prayer? <laughs> yeah. I mean, who would have thought? But like, I mean, it was it was so amazing. Yeah. And we should like just keep reflecting on it. Yes. God is the source, not source. not any. It's it's easy to mix the channel, you know, yes. the gift. But God is the one. He gives the seed. Yes. He also gives, gives the, the bread. bread. Yeah. So yes, he's he's the source, and we must always have that you know be conscious of that it's not that in conscious. it's not in trying to double up the hustle it's yeah. not in trying to you know get 870 jobs <laughs> it's not in trying no because i mean this these are realities these are i know yes. i know people especially like young people who feel that ah, time is going on this is where i still am on. i need to do, I need this. to do this i need to there's just so much anxiety and the thing about anxiety is that it just sort of goes into before you know it you used to be a very patient person but yeah. now you're always irritable yeah. you're always on edge yeah. so like you just it has a lot of effects that you don't you might not even know mm. so but like when you rest in the facts that's it you find rest in the fact that god is your source yeah. he won't fail yeah. he always he always provides he always keeps his end of the bargain yes. you know just we just he gives us everything. It's and, just, and let's yeah. just find the confidence to always go before him. Right? Yes. This is the confidence that we have in him. Mm -hmm. That he hears us. Yes. Right? Um, but also it powers us more to know that we, we can also hear him. Mm -hmm. And whatever he's saying to us per time, we can receive yes. through the light of the word that we yes. receive. Uh, you know, we can receive through the light of the word and his spirit at working us. Yes. So it's, a, I mean, that's beautiful to know that there's nothing that you're going through and I don't know what whoever's listening to us right now I don't know what exactly you need I don't know what challenge you're currently facing I don't know what sickness you know is in your body I don't know what situation that you know seems a bit threatening right now I want you to know that Jesus is the bread of life yeah. Yeah. and that bread of life if you eat of him you will never you will never be hungry yeah. you will live forever that's yes. what the scripture tells us you will live forever. You will have you will have the quality of life that is above and beyond that situation. Yes. You would have a peace that surpasses all understanding. Yes. You know that the the, 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 the the spirit of God will guard your heart and yeah. mind. And I and I pray that for everyone who is listening to us right now. 
that whatever it is that you're going through, mm. embrace the revelation of Jesus. Amen. Eat of Jesus. Amen. Drink of Him. Amen. And you would see a change. Yeah. You would see a change first within you. Mm -hmm. And then you'll see it translate into every part. You see those waters, you know, meeting and, you know, washing everything around you to bring you into that place of rest in the name of Jesus. Uh, I believe this has been a blessing to you, a blessing um, to everyone who has been listening to us. Let's just say a word of prayer as we close today. Lord, we thank you for your word. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for the delicacy of your word. We thank, thank you, Lord, Lord, because your word is sweet. There, yeah, um, thank you, Father, because your word is health, help to all our flesh. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord, because your word is, is true. Thank you, Lord, because your word meets us even at the point of our needs, but does not leave us there. It brings us up even to the point where you are above, because he who is above is above oh, all. Oh, thank yeah. you, Lord, because we are above all. Thank you, we are Lord. above the situations of this country. Amen. We are above every temptation. Amen. We are above every challenge. Amen. We are above every sickness. We are above every disease. Amen. We are above every full Ike price. Mm -hmm. We are above every 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 transportation issue. Yeah. We are above every marital issue. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord, because we begin to see ourselves as you see us, yeah. even in you. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 It's been a blessing today. Please, I want to encourage you to join us on Sunday for our uh, service, which starts by 10 a.m. every Sunday. We are BWC Hotel. We are the Franchise Church. Uh, 128 B. Um, it's 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 an Amadu Bello way, and it will it will be a joy to receive you on Sunday. Um, time is 10 a.m. and we believe and we trust that you'll join us for a swell time in God's presence. Please do give offerings. Um, uh, as we say in the Franchise Church, it is not about the money, but it's not without the money. Uh, we believe strongly that whatever you give, you give to the Lord and it will help us even to use these uh, these means to be able to propagate the, the word of God, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and to empower even saints and believers across. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. So Oji, I think it's bye-bye from now. Ah, bye. bye. Thank you bye. so much.